Okay, so 6.6 .6 center of mass. Before I'm going to go into the, the definition of it, um, how to calculate the center of mass, etc., I would like to just first develop a little bit of intuition about what is the center of mass. And of course, it, it actually gets a lot more um, complicated, and, but, but I just want to develop a very basic intuition of what is the significance of the center of mass for an object or for a system of objects. So the first thing is, it is a point. Please take note of that. It's a point given by something like this. In the textbook, it's, it's drawn like this. I think I've tried to also color the, the, these sections in. Okay, it is a point in space that moves as though all the mass of that object or system of objects, all the mass were concentrated there at that point. So if you've got, a, a say, a steel bar, all the mass, right, there's mass right throughout here, there is a point where it is as if all the mass were concentrated there. Okay? So if, this, if the mass was evenly distributed, right, if the density was even right throughout, then we know that the center of mass would be right in the middle of the bar. Okay? What about, um, say, uh, a, a cricket bat? Something like that. There it's, you can see it's not evenly distributed, the mass. So, there, but nevertheless, there is a point somewhere on this cricket bat where it is as if all the mass was concentrated or were concentrated at that point. Another way, another intuitive way of explaining it is it is a point again at which the object can be balanced. So if you go and um, tie a rope over here and try to hang that, that, uh, this beam up, it will not tip. It will, just, it will just be balanced. If you go and try to hold the cricket bat with your hand underneath this point, it will be balanced. It will not tip over. If you try to um, support the cricket bat at any other point other than the center of mass, it's going to tip. It's going to rotate, right? You get that. Okay, so that is the intuitive understanding um, of the center of mass. And in the next one, I'll get into more um, of the actual derivation of the center of mass. Okay, cheers.